The country's aviation sector getting a major boost after signing air service agreements with several major economic powerhouses. It's a move that the government is confident will benefit all Bahamians as it seeks to modernize the industry. RCS Catali was on hand for those major signings today. Recognizing that aviation is a major component of any economy, Minister of Transport and Aviation, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, says she's excited to be opening up new doors for the Bahamas through the signing of air service agreements. The air service agreements that we're executing um, here during this conference the, creates the legal framework between two states in terms of diplomatic relations, which sets the, the groundwork which will facilitate air traffic between the two countries. Um, it sets out the specific terms relating to code sharing, relating to um, ground handling, um, etc. But it, it's very significant because it, 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 it serves as a framework, but it can also serve as a stimulus for air traffic between the two states. And it begins the dialogue. So it's um, in terms of air connectivity, this is the most significant first step for any country um, in terms of establishing air networks between two states. The Republic of Singapore was the first of three agreements signed Tuesday by government during the second day of the 9th ICANN conference. I think it's a privilege for us to come to the Bahamas for this uh, occasion. And uh, Bahamas is, um, strikes us as um, a very warm, lovely place. The people are very warm and very friendly. And I'm sure that when we go back to Singapore, we will tell everyone about the wonderful Bahamas. And I think that uh, we hope that more people from Singapore and the region will find their way to the Bahamas. The next agreement was with the United Arab Emirates, who originally signed a memorandum of understanding in early October during the 39th Assembly of the International Civil Aviation Organization in Montreal, Canada. Then it was New Zealand. Minister Hannah Martin says these signings have been in the making for a long time. A lot of this dialogue began in Turkey a year ago. And then after the fact, there's um, exchange of um, views and, and negotiations from the Bahamas to those and, and, and the others in their states. So it takes, it takes a long time. This is the culmination of actually 12 months. So this one took approximately 12 months, and we might have been able to sign it early, except we decided that this negotiating event would be a, a good opportunity to sign it. But it, it usually takes a month, several months, because you have to go up the line through governments. Um, this is not a commercial negotiation. This is between state to state with governments, and so um, it takes a while. With the agreements now completed, the minister says the next step will be to dialogue with these countries in conjunction with the Ministry of Tourism on how best air traffic can be initiated. Minister Hannah Martin believes developing the aviation sector will result in the creation of greater opportunities for Bahamians. On Wednesday, the Bahamas is expected to sign another air service agreement with Brazil. C.S. Scatterly, ZNS Network News.